Okay, C. Lindelof videos. TI Inspire, solve a trigonometric function on an interval. This time I want to do the same thing, but I want to do it graphically. If knowing this is huge because no other calculator can do this quite as well. So let's take a look at this for a second. What if we're given like a, a particle motion question and we're given a velocity function that looks like f of t is equal to 2 sine of e to the t force power plus 1 for t is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 6. And we're asked to find the zeros on that specific interval. Well, the problem with that is this, and I just want to show it to you. If we just, if we put the function in, we'd look at it. Here is that function, and you can see that this function hits 0 here, it hits 0 here, it hits 0 here, 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 and an infinite number of times after that. So the question is, one way to do this, which is not my favorite way to do it, but one way to do it is to look at it and try to figure out, can you see where that 0 is? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's 6 right here. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go to Menu, Analyze Graph. So Menu, Analyze Graph. We're going to find the 0. And then here's the trick. We said that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we don't want anything after that. So here's the 0 here. So find a point to the left of it. And that's where it says lower bound here. Find a point to the left of that, hit enter, go to the right of it, hit enter, without going to the next zero. The problem with this answer is that it's not in symbolic form. You get the answer 5.196, which does happen to be true. However, if you looked at it this way, let me show you this really quick. If you look at it this way, what I did, besides doing it this way, was that I saved the function as f of t, and I said solve f of t is equal to 0, comma, t. If I saved it on that interval, so when you hit enter, you get the symbolic form of it back. And you can see that we got 5.197. If you did this, if you hit control estimate, there's our answer, but in symbolic form. So doing it graphically does work, but not always as well. So just thought you would want to see that. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.